Hey guys, uh, Neerav Mehta here from Apps Magnet and uh, you know Active Collab 3 is out and you may be wondering whether to upgrade to that or not. You know Active Collab 3 is a fantastic system, tons of new features, great enhancements, superb UI, it's just awesome. Alright, so I would strongly recommend people to upgrade to Active Collab 3 but when is the question. So if you are using a lot of third party modules, especially R modules, uh, you know, or if you have uh, lots and lots of users on your system, you have lots of legacy data and you cannot afford to lose a day or to be down at any time, then I would suggest that you know you can wait a little bit for Active Collab 3. Uh, if you're adventurous and you don't mind uh, fixing a little issue that comes up here and there or waiting for a fix for that, you can go ahead and upgrade to Active Collab 3. The upgrade process is going to be smooth, the data will be migrated to the new system and we haven't seen any data loss so far except you know a few issues with uh, importing avatar images. If I was in your place, I would uh, probably just wait for a couple of more weeks, maybe like uh, mid-June. Uh, by that time Active Collab 3 should be very stable, rock solid I would say, and uh, all the other third party modules will also be ported to Active Collab 3. So then that's going to be probably the ideal time uh, for a business critical system to upgrade. But uh, you know just go ahead, uh, download it, try it on, on your local system, see how it feels. Uh, you, know, you may also need to see if you will need to train your users on that because uh, there are lots and lots of new uh, UI, UX nuances into the system. So all the best with the migration and if you need any support with that, you know we will be available.